Alright, in this video I'm going over Minimax and the Stag Hunt game in Game Theory, and there's kind of a relationship between these two that I'd like to at least tell a story about. So just to give you a preview of where we're going, Minimax is going to be a different strategy for solving these games, depending on sort of a person's approach. So you might imagine some people are really strategic and are going to be thinking ahead, other people um, might be motivated by, by other factors such as fear, such as worry about different types of regret. And when you're playing a game with someone, you have to leave open the option that they may have a different thought process. Um, when they come up with their strategies, then Nash Equilibrium, or then, then you have. And Minimax is sort of one of those thought processes for thinking about strategic games. And it's going to be a thought process that's going to be more common among people who are very risk averse or who are afraid of the worst possible outcome. Alright, so to get there, it's helpful to start with the stag hunt game from Game Theory. So now we're, we're back in classic Nash Equilibrium mode. And the story here is you can either collaborate with your tribe to hunt a stag or you can go off on your own and hunt rabbits. And of course, you're going to get more meat and better meat if you hunt a stag, but if you hunt rabbits, you don't have to worry about other people following through with the collaboration. So I actually prefer this game to be framed as group work versus individual work. Would you rather have a group project that has a higher probability of payoff or an individual project where the success or failure is entirely on your shoulders? So let me just reframe this whole game. Okay, so here we have, if you work together with your team, there's going to be a higher payout um, for teamwork because of course, uh, you know, collaborative efforts have more potential, more potential for specialization, more potential for creative um, ideas to interact. And so the highest possible payoff here is, is going to be up in this box. And if you actually solve the Nash equilibrium for this particular game, what you're gonna find is, two Nash Equilibrium. So one Nash Equilibrium is both people work on the team project together, and another Nash Equilibrium is each person works separately. And of course, um, Nash Equilibrium means if we end up in this box, both players will say, given what the other player said, I'm glad I'm in this box, and same up here. But when we look at the two Nash Equilibriums, we can automatically tell which one is better. So this is a much better Nash Equilibrium, so you would think you would always end up in the teamwork scenario. And if both players are Nash Equilibrium thinkers, or if we have this repeated game where we kind of play until we end up at this Nash Equilibrium, then, then we're going to end up up here. Because Nash Equilibrium, even if it doesn't happen on any individual round, as people repeat games, they tend toward the Nash Equilibrium in the long run. So that is Nash Equilibrium, and um, this is a fairly simple situation. But um, what, what I'd like us to think about is what if we change the scenario by looking at the worst um, payoff in the table, which is the zeros right here, and what if we changed that to negative one? Did that change the Nash Equilibrium? Well, no. As a matter of fact, we can change this to negative ten, and it still will not change the equilibrium. In fact, we can put any negative number here and it's not going to change the fact that these are the two Nash Equilibriums at all. So let me put a really um, low number in here. Okay, Nash Equilibrium has not changed, but does this change how you interact in this game? Well, okay, so we know that the best possible Nash Equilibrium is up here. Both players can tell this is up here. However, if for whatever reason your partner um, went with the individual route trying to achieve this Nash Equilibrium, you're, you're in a really bad spot. So if you're at all worried about your partner's way of thinking, um, changing this sort of off equilibrium payoff might actually increase the chances that we end up down here, especially in a world where people behave sometimes in erratic ways and people have different ways of thinking about the game. As a matter of fact, um, one strategy here would be to think a lot about what is the worst case scenario and just try to avoid the worst case scenario possible. And that's where we get min Minimax. So Minimax is a different approach to thinking about these games. 
where the motivation isn't if I end up in this place will I have regrets about what I did that's the Nash equilibrium view the motivation is instead what is the worst case that could, could happen if I chose each of these options and looking at those worst possible scenarios and choosing the best among them so player one can look at these options and say okay if I choose team the worst that could happen is I'd get negative 100. If I chose the individual pro uh, problem, the worst that could happen is that I would get one. And in this case, the minimax thinker is going to just look at those two, what are the worst case scenarios, and say, okay, this is the least bad worst case scenario, so I'm going to choose individual. And of course, the, the player two is gonna do the same thing as well. Player two says, if I choose team, the worst that could happen is that I get negative 100. If I choose individual, the worst that could happen is that I get one. So um, they're going to recognize that the one is the best of the worst scenarios. So this is why this is called Minimax. It's of the minimum options, the worst case options, which are down here, what is the best possible of those worst case options? And I mean, you can think about people who might approach life this way. They're sort of constantly going through the worst case scenario under any different decision tree they look at, and they're so afraid of all those worst case scenarios, that, and they're so focused on those worst case scenarios, that they just choose the best option among the worst ones. So this is a different strategic approach. It's not a wrong strategic approach, it's just um, one way of thinking that different types of behavioral people are going to take. So let's actually look at a more, at a bigger tree, a, a bigger game, and see how this works in that scenario. Okay, so here we have two players playing a game. They each have five strategies, run, hide, play dead, fight, or freeze. And I just sort of filled the table in with some payoffs. And the approach here is for each player to look at each of their, their own strategies and to say, if I play this strategy, what is the worst possible thing that could happen? So if I run, they focus on what is the worst of the outcomes, so eight, nine, five, four, and eight. The worst outcome in this thing is the four, so I'm gonna just put four over here. And then they go through the rest of their options in the same way, if I hide what is the worst thing that could happen, and it looks like the worst is going to be the one, that I only get one. Same with the rest of the strategies. So for player one, we see that the, the worst possible thing that could happen under each possible strategy is listed over here. And we see of these minimums, the maximum of the minimums, so second part is max, is the four. So their, their minimax um, choice is going to be to run. And then we're gonna do the same thing for player two. So for player two, player two says, if I run, what's the worst I could possibly get? And they look at all their payoffs, the player two payoffs, if they run, and the worst is two. They ask themselves, if I hide, what's the worst that could happen? And that's to get zero. And so for player two, there's actually, here are the minimums for player two, and there's actually two possible minimax solutions here. Um, the best, the maximum of the worst case scenarios is two, and there's two strategies, run or play dead, that lead to that payoff of two. So the minimax solution to this game, there are actually two minimax solutions. One is for player one to go run, player two to go run, and then the other is for player one to go run and player two to play dead. So let me write that out. So the two minimax solutions here are run, run, and run, play dead. And that's simply based on each player overthinking how, how fearful the worst case scenario for each of these strategies is and making the decision based on the best of those worst case scenarios. That's how minimax works, that's how to think about it. It's a very useful concept, and you might think about like what types of people are more likely to use a minimax strategy as opposed to a Nash equilibrium strategy or some other strategy, and it's gonna be people who are risk averse, people who think a lot about the worst case scenarios. 